Hi everybody, Eric from Hit Subscribe here, and this is yet another installment in the Time to Joy series. I've done a couple of videos on Time to Joy for um, a couple of Visual Studio tools. Today I'm going to do something a little bit more challenging. Uh, I have need to get going with the WordPress API in C Sharp. Now what I really need to do is pull drafts out of WordPress and put them into a database because I'm going to write some code that does certain kinds of quality control checks on them. I am positive that's going to require authentication and I think that that's a bridge too far to jump in just one of these videos. Now maybe I'm being a little under ambitious and I, I could do it but I, I just stuff like that tends not to go great and uh, you know I'm rusty these days so what you're gonna watch here it's going to be me you know uh, knocking off the rust in using Visual Studio and C Sharp and navigating what I imagine is a NuGet package somewhere um, to use the WordPress API so all I'm going to be trying to do today is pulling a published post off of dead tech and seeing if I can get access to it in code so we'll consider a time to joy if I can programmatically get access to the contents of the blog post using the WordPress API and just dump it to the console. That's really all I'm after today. Um, nothing once again to disclose in this video. I don't have any commercial relationship with WordPress, C Sharp, Microsoft, Visual Studio, also Microsoft. Anyway, I don't have any commercial relationships with anybody involved in anything here, so this is just purely me recording how long it takes to get going with this. So with that, let's get to it. I am going to start the stopwatch here, and I have a bit of a head start by having Visual Studio open uh, to the project that I'm going to be doing, which is called El Dorado. I am going to come in here and try to remember what I was doing. Um, this screen I am creating. Uh, I have this, oh, this is actually kind of fun. Let me show you. Uh, so, and also kind of remember how this was working. So I'm gonna get this set to the right startup project, which is that console project. And I'm going to run the code it is building. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. It is giving me a compiler warning, which I'll have to figure out at some point, but that point is not now. Let me show you what it's, there we go. Uh, so basically what I have done is created this numerical, this is a plugin, but I've created this like, um, you know, old style uh, number driven text menu. So what I'm gonna do is exit out of here. Uh, okay. Um, and create a new top level menu item and you give them these attributes here. So I'm gonna say menu method and just so you know, I have not looked at this code base in quite a while. So um, let's call this pop a blog post because I am going to attempt to pop a blog post using the WordPress API. This is going to be a public static void pop post. All right, now, that doesn't yet do anything, so let's go do some investigation. In our stopwatch window here, I'm two minutes in. Uh, WordPress API C Sharp. I at one time had researched this, but I don't remember. That's why you're seeing some of these searches pop up. Uh, so I must have clicked on whatever this is. NuGet? NuGet packages matching WordPress. Okay. Uh, searching NuGet itself doesn't look to be super helpful. So I clicked on this before. I guess maybe this is cheating a little, but let me see what this is. WordPress PCL. Oh, there's a readme we got. Probably some code. Oh, cool. This is sort of exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, got authentication. But I don't want that. Maybe I can just do something as simple as... Uh, Get all posts, get post by ID, huh, get all comments, I mean that's going to be a lot of stuff. Well, let's see what happens. So I am going to go in here and I'm going to add a NuGet package, 
what's this called? WordPress. WordPress PCL. Latest stable version 1.6, so it's a lot of versions of that. This is a portable library for consuming the WordPress REST API in almost any C Sharp application. That parenthetical almost, I don't see any further description to that, so hopefully we're not on the outside of that almost. I don't think this is a particularly exotic situation, so let's hope not. Oh boy, I see where the, I have had historical problems with this particular API. Uh, I don't normally let compiler warnings sit in my applications, so there must be some kind of thing that happened with an update here. Uh, but I am not going to bore you with that. That is going to detract from our time to joy. So this thing is installed. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go to my site, which is dead tech. And I'm going to paste that in here. So I just did a scope plus compliments of code rush which i did a video about my very first time to joy video okay so we don't like that because we need a reference and we find it so that's a plus one line of code compiling let me close this and oh now i'm gonna have to remind myself how i'm going to Posts await client.post.getall. Seems like it's going to be time consuming. I wonder if there's a synchronous API because I don't really want to go async here. Let's just see what this does. Except I also don't want to get a hundred of these. I wonder how I find a post ID. WordPress post ID. How to find the post ID in WordPress. I mean, I guess I could get all of them and then like just search for the ID in one. Do that later. Da, 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 da. I could not find, this is a lot of preamble. I mean, I get what you're doing here, buddy. You want time on page, but my goodness. Yeah, see, this is really all I needed to see. Uh, so. All right, well, there's no particular one I need, so let's just do the most recent one. So the post ID is 11704. So you can scrape my blog for this too if you want. Here we are seven minutes in, a little bit of reading, a little bit of installing something. So let's try this. Also, oops, no. Should also bear in mind, There is weird stuff happening. All right, what is the problem here? Oh, wrong capitalization. So would this return multiple posts? It returns a task of posts, so it would be a single post. So if I remember anything about this, what I really want is the result, which is gonna make this a post, right? Hey, I remember how to program even a little bit of advanced programming like async and await. A lot of you watching probably won't think that's advanced and I guess it isn't, I'm just really rusty. Uh, probably wanna rename this guy cause that is not multiple posts, but one post. And let's see what kind of properties we've got here on post. Categories, comment status, content, embedded. So let's just dump the content to the console. Console.write. Probably be weird to write it as a line. I'm guessing post content is a string. No, of course not. It's a content. Well, raw or rendered? You know what? This is probably going to be some HTML. For our purposes here, time to joy is just that I see this post's content on the console. Uh, so let's fire this up and see what happens. Now what I'm expecting here 
is to see a bunch of HTML on the console. Let me bring this guy over here. And it alphabetizes these, so even though this is the bottom in the class, um, it is now option two, because that is where it falls alphabetically. So let's do this and just see what happens. Let me pop a debug breakpoint in here. System.aggregate exception, WP unexpected exception, server returned HTTP status not found. Oh boy. Uh, all right, well, let's just run it back here. All right, so we'll run it back here and I just learned the not fun way that I'm gonna have to do this with the mouse because if I hit F10, even though I'm not in Camtasia's window, you know what it does? It says, oh, well, I'm just gonna steal that keyboard shortcut and I'm going to stop recording the video. So that's awesome. Uh, that's a great example of a feature I wanna disable pour gasoline on top of and then burn and then shoot into the sun. So let's also not hit F10 here. And this should kick me back into the exception window at some point. Well, let me do something first and check to see. I said 11704, 11704 equals new, oh, I see. Let's see if this makes a difference. I did not realize there was that uh, extra bit on the route there. So let's fire you back up. At some point I might need to stop trying to be cute by avoiding the asynchronous call. All right, so what we're not gonna do is hit F10 and enter that world of pain. Let's just step over this. Hope we don't get an exception. No exception. <laughs> the content is null. Is there anything? Hey! So raw content is null, but it sure looks like dot rendered. Are you a string? Yes, so it sure looks like we will be able to, ugh, we'll be able to fire this back up. What? All right, I'm, I'm getting an amount of compiler errors that makes me sad and tired, or sorry, warnings. You know what, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. That is a problem for when I am no longer recording. But I know that it's coming, so I'm not thrilled. Let me bring this guy back over, we're gonna, oops number two and pop a blog post and let's just get super cocky and get rid of these breakpoints and just assume this is gonna go well that sure looks like a blog post it's got HTML tags yeah I remember writing these words last week sure enough so interestingly enough I don't get the title out of this but I'll play with all this stuff later so it starts right off with a P I'm not sure exactly at what point um, here I'll show you the post uh, well, probably easiest to find it this way. So it's interesting to see this. I guess I probably ought to give it a stop here on Time to Joy. We will call that 17 minutes. But yeah, it starts here. So everything above that is not considered part of the post. So yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is an excellent start. I'm going to be doing more stuff where um, I want to pull uh, drafts out of WordPress in this same format. And there's probably other types of meta information that I'm going to want. Uh, as you can see here, if I now stop this, there are so many controls, um, that the post seems, uh, looking at IntelliSense, to have a lot of stuff going on. I'm guessing I can come get its title tags. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. So that's cool. Um, and get it slug. And so you bet I'm going to want access to all of this stuff as I build this automated, uh, what I call quality control um, or what we call quality control uh, in the process for producing hit subscribe blog posts, there is a good bit of stuff that can be automated and I would like to automate that stuff. So that's why I'm doing this. Anyway, to wrap here, um, we have a successful endeavor. It was not the seven-ish minute affairs that installing those developer tools 
uh, were, but you know, 17 minutes isn't terrible. It's maybe not great for three lines of code, but you know, this is just me warts and all feeling my way through it. So what we did here was went out and grabbed a NuGet package. I had to do a little bit of research to kind of figure out how this works. Um, a good portion of this is representative of the programming world where I was doing a bunch of rusty debugging simply because I forgot to put um, a little bit into the URL that wasn't obvious to me at first glance. So welcome to the glorious world of programming. But as it does most of the time, this time it ends in joy. I'm happy about that. So we are in the 17 minute range here to get from kind of nothing to up and going using the WordPress REST API, albeit via a NuGet package, uh, to grab blog posts off the server and to be able to start doing with uh, doing stuff with them. So as I have said in the other videos in this series, I am going to keep on trucking with these. So if you like this, if you find this interesting, I'm going to do more. If there are things you want me to take a look at, I am happy to be your programming crash test dummy. Even if it's some REPL or some thing I've never heard of, I don't mind bashing my head into it and trying to figure it out. Uh, if it's like super involved, that might not work, but um, to get up to speed with anything, to install anything, to try a library, let me know, sky's the limit. Um, leave a comment for that if there's anything you'd like to, to see me try here. And um, if you find this enjoyable, please feel free to give us a like on the video and to subscribe to the channel. Um, we do content that's along these lines, plus some stuff about blogging, uh, technical content marketing and that sorts of thing. So as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you next time.